Hi, welcome to Believe the Bible. Thank you for joining me today. And as you can tell, the question is, are you a Sabbath keeper? Interesting that I've been watching some videos and getting comments from people and they are very adamant that the Sabbath must be kept. Some say it, it, it's absolutely must and some say, you know, you should and we do keep it, but you don't really have to. And so uh, there's, there's an array of thinking out there about the Sabbath. But if, if that is your thinking, let me share some verses about the Sabbath. I think that maybe people use Bible words but don't understand what the words actually mean or pertain to or understand them in their context. The context of the Sabbath was for Israel to set them apart. And so it was a day of rest. But let's, let's look at some of the verses. So as I read these verses, just see if you keep the Sabbath and are really true to the Sabbath and whether you should be and are really keeping the, tra the Sabbath the way it's uh, described here. Exodus chapter 31 verse 14 says, Ye shall keep the Sabbath therefore. Well, ye is referring to the nation of Israel. That's the first point. Shall is a command. And therefore, it is an holy unto you. Everyone that defileth it shall surely be put to death. For whosoever doeth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. And how shall they be cut off from among people? They shall be put to death. Verse 15, six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, holy to the Lord. Whosoever doeth any work in the Sabbath, he shall surely be put to death. Verse 16, Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, explaining who the ye is in verse 14. It's the children of Israel. To observe the Sabbath throughout their generation for perpetual covenant. That's an ongoing covenant that the nation of Israel, the Jews, were to keep. Verse 17, For is it a sign between me and the children of Israel forever? For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested and was refreshed. So sometimes I'll get a comment of someone say, Well, I treat, try to keep the Sabbath as much as possible, uh, but that's not what this says. This says you shall keep it or you shall be put to death. <laughs> There's not like a gray area. So if you think you need to and are keeping the Sabbath on Friday 6 p.m. to Saturday 6 p.m., that being the seventh day, um, the evening and the morning were the first day, as it describes in uh, the book of Genesis chapter 1, and if you think that's the case and you skip a, a, a beat there, you miss it somehow and you did some work or you traveled too far or you did something on the Sabbath that you weren't supposed to do and you didn't keep it holy, then the, the scriptures say that you are to be put to death. I wonder if you keep the Sabbath that strongly in your mind that if you don't keep it, you're willing to die for it. That's what the scriptures say. The scriptures say you need to be put to death. So, no, people aren't keeping the Sabbath today. <sighs> if only people could just read God's word rightly divided and understand what was written to Israel and about Israel from the difference that Jesus gave to Paul for the body of Christ. The body of Christ, a term used for believers today who believe in Jesus Christ's death, shed blood, burial, and resurrection, who believe and put their trust in that and that alone for the forgiveness of their sins, that they get saved once and for all, for all eternity, once and for all. That can't be taken away from you because eternal life is forever. <laughs> Last line I looked, I think that's how it's defined. But anyway... You have a good day. Decide for yourself. If you're a real Sabbath keeper and you messed up, just read the verses. Just read the verses. I'm not interpreting anything. Just read the verses. Take care.